Okay, so this is what you need to make your wishing machine. You need a Vinta 2018 uh, candle holder from Ikea. When it's assembled, it actually looks like this. Okay, it's a, a little base and a glass tube. Be careful, it's made out of glass, obviously. We'll come back to that in a bit. You also need a little pot as well, that's from, uh, as well from Ikea. These are about 90 pence. This was seven pounds, I believe. This was 90p. Um, these ones, you want the one that's got the angled edges on it. You don't want the one that is a bit shorter, okay, with the smaller edges, and small angled edges on it. You want this bigger one, because this one's too small. Okay, you also want uh, a nail. I just went to the hardware store I've got these nails specifically easy for me to say because I needed about a four or five inch nail okay so this is a four inch nail 100 mils or um, a five inch one will do as well uh, basically you want one that's quite heavy set so these are 4.5 mil in diameter it's a good heavy set nail we need that as well we also need uh, a big paper clip so I found these in the pound shop uh, they're one of these little boxes all I wanted out of it was one of these paper clips okay one of these, and I've got a gold paper clip to go with the candle holder so it matches the candle holder. That's my gold paper clip there. We'll come to that in a second. You also need, da -da -da, from Ikea, I got used their little toolbox because that's what I wanted. Uh, you need a pair of pliers and you need a hammer. This toolbox was eight quid. Uh, basically, I've got plenty of tools, but I bought this one just for when I'm going to be doing uh, little bits around the house and I've always got something handy. So you need a good solid little hammer and some players, you've probably got those already. Okay, let's get rid of my gear toolbox. Right, get this lot out of the way. Unwrap your Vinter box. Take this out, what you should be left with is this. You need a little base and your glass tube. We're interested in this glass tube at the minute. Get your paper clip and straighten out. We've got a nail coming to visit, get over there. Straighten out your paper clip so it becomes one long, flat, straight paper clip, okay? Make sure it's nice and straight, that's where you're gonna start off. What you're gonna do with this, you're going to make this thing, okay? From this paper clip. This is the key to everything. This little thing here, all right? Now, I designed that, it wasn't very really tricky to design, it took me a little while to figure out how it exactly was gonna go, but that's what we're gonna make, so I'll show you how to do that now. Straighten your paper clip out like this, okay? And then, once it's straight, you are going to find the center of it, okay? That's the important part. You need to find the center of your nice straight paper clip. So find the middle. Uh, that's pretty much I did off guesswork, okay? So I want to go about halfway. I think it's about there. I've got a little kink roughly where the halfway center point is. So you just kind of fold that at the kink, okay? Now don't go all the way just yet because we want to just make sure we can bend something back. Now I'm gonna make, the first bit I'm gonna do is this little tiny uh, sort of dimple or nipple on the end of it. Get my pliers, okay? I'm gonna fold this paper clip, let me just move these out of the way. I'll come back to these in a second. Fold my paper clip to make this little dimple. So I'm gonna make a fold like that, okay? And then I'm gonna fold this bit round and make sure I've got another little fold about the, sorry, about the same size, just about there. But I can then fold those together and I'm gonna make that little nipple. Okay, just like that. Make sure it's nice and flat together. Okay, so hopefully now, it doesn't have to be a perfect right angle, but I can have a little fiddle with it. And I've now got my little, got our little nipple on there, okay? Now that little nipple, that's gonna be that bit in the center just there, okay? Now the way we're gonna measure this is this is designed to fit onto here, like that. That's our end bit, that's gonna support our little spinner at the end, so it fits on there just like that. So what I wanna do is I need to fold this so it's gonna be just a bit bigger than the edges of my uh, glass tube, okay? So it needs to be about the center. I need to work out where I'm gonna fold, and I'm gonna fold upwards first of all. It's gonna be an upwards fold, uh, right angles that way. I'll show you in a second, I'm gonna change that, because it just comes to the edge, and I'm gonna go just a bit further over than the edge, okay? And then I'm gonna fold it upwards, like this, okay? Just about there. And I want the same distance, I want the same size, across on the other side. So I want the same distance from the middle 
So I want it to be the same distance across. You can do that just by measuring, using your thumb, using your finger, whatever you like. I just use my finger, get myself a rough size, and then, boom, okay. Now I am, yeah, I'm happy with that, okay. Now you'll notice I'm slightly off my center. It doesn't really matter, okay. We'll come to why that is in a second. That's gonna go just about there, and you'll see it doesn't actually fit inside of the glass just yet, okay. It doesn't fit inside of the little center. What I need to do now is I'm gonna just push that upwards and bend this slightly, slightly, oh, got a bit too far, slightly off to fit in the gap, okay. So I've bent it upwards and now it's slightly at off right angles to go in the little gap and I can tweak this a little bit just to make sure that it fits in there nice and snug. So I need to come up a little bit more. That's nice and snug now so it's going to fit nice and snugly in the gap, okay. Now the plan here is I want to bend these over the side of my glass. Now remember it is made out of glass so be careful, okay. Bend those over so it goes over the side and down. And this is the same on this side over the side and down. Now you don't want to break this glass cylinder, be careful because it is made out of glass. I can't stress that enough. But now this is what I've got. I've got that bent over and down. Now, one of these is going to go that way, back up and over. The other one is going to go the opposite way, back up and over. That's going to keep it nice and stable in a minute. So what I do, that's all ready. And now bring in my pliers. I give this a little bit of a squeeze just to make sure it's going to be a little bit tight on the glass, but not too much because I want it to fit snugly and not break my glass. Now I'm going to go at right angles with this from that, that profile. This one's going to go at right angles that way. So I bend it around, okay. And this one is going to go at right angles the other way. So I bend that around as well. I'm going to have to go a little bit short with one on this side because I've done the uh, <coughs> the paper clip slightly off center, okay? Then I'm gonna go back up again, so go at right angles again, so I take hold of this, and it's getting a bit short now, so this is where my pliers come in. Go at right angles again, okay? I have gone a bit short on this one, okay? So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to fix that by coming, opening it a little bit, okay? Go back again, it can't go down quite as far as the other side, so make it a bit shorter, go up, and then over the top, like, oh, dropping stuff, over the top, just like that, I need to pinch that down as well, so pinch it down, and now we're set, and that's one side of my clip, it's going to fit over the top, just like that. And then I need the other side of my clip, it's going to go the opposite way. So I'll do the same thing again. Uh, zoomed in view of this so you can see it. And that's the exact way that we want it, just like that. Bent over one side and bent over back. So on the edit, I'll put on a little close up of that for you. So, as promised, here is your little close up of the piece that goes over the top of your glass cylinder. It is uh, the little spike in the middle, the little nipple. That's what's going to carry the shade. There's little side arms that are bent downwards. Notice the spike is above these edges and you want to have it a good, you know, uh, what's that, about five mil above the top. Uh, you can go further. I mean this other one, and you noticed when I was making it before, I, uh, I found a problem was that it was skipping a little bit on the sides. This one I've made a lot further up. Now it does hold the um, hold the shade a little bit higher up that it's going to spin around. And as well, if I go this way, you can see that one of these yard arms is bent one way and the other one is bent out to the side. That stops it from falling over when we've done. Okay, so there you go. That's your little close-up of the piece that goes over your glass tube in the middle. Okay, happy days. Now this bit that I've just made, that's going to fit over my glass container. Now I need to tweak it a little bit, it needs to come over a little bit there, twist a bit down, be quite in, and about right, and then any tweaking that you want to do, if it doesn't look quite central, you can take your pliers and just give that a little bit of a twist, a bit of a tweak, try it again, and we should be just about there, okay? So that is our first bit done. That's how we've 
now modified our candle holder so it's going to take our uh, it's going to take our spinner in a minute. All right. Now your next bit, you need your little plant pot. Okay. Take the IKEA sticker off the bottom. Okay. Pull that off, and you've got to find the centre in the middle. Now this is quite difficult because these are quite slippy. Get your uh, nail and don't worry about taking your time to find this central bit. This is an important part, okay? Find the centre in, in the middle there. I'm going to have to move around a little bit to have a look, so sorry about this. You've got to get your right in the middle and just do it by eye and just drop yourself. The way I found the easiest way to do it is by dropping the nail down, having a look, and then just looking all around the edges by eye and kind of just seeing where it is. You unfortunately, you want to take the time and try and Draw out a template, put it in there, find the center of the template, do that, you can do, but to be honest, I did that the first time and I was off center a little bit. So uh, anyway, so I found it by I'll find it by eye. I've done that now. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Okay, get my hammer. Now I've got to be careful, I don't want to puncture through the bottom of my um, of my actual container. I want to just give it a tap and let it into get it into the right place. So Okay, and I want to get a, a dint in the bottom. Now I don't want to go through, so there you go, see? I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I don't know if you can see it on there, but I've made a little dint in, in the center there. Okay, so I might try it a little bit more. Now I've got my dint, it's easy to put my nail in. Get my hammer. Okay. Like I say, I don't want to go through, but I do want a good sized dint on it, okay? Now, that good sized dint, pretty much, here we go, here is our little container, glass on the top. This should now sit nicely on your container just like that and you should get this nice little spin just like that. Okay, so that's your spinning round top bit on your uh, wishing machine. So now all that's left to do is put a tea light in here. Now some of you might think that's a little bit dangerous, that's fine, what I've got is I bought some of these as well. Uh, these are little uh, electronic tea lights, you can put those in there. They do give a nice shine and they give the effect that you want. You're not gonna get the full sort of animated cartoons on the wall and things like that as well, like they do on The Greatest Showman, but you are gonna get this nice pretty light that sparkles and, and looks pretty. I'll try and put a little video of that on as well, exactly what it looks like. Your other little option as well, which I'm gonna show you now, Get some gold paint, preferably hammerite paint is good. I couldn't find any because I'm doing this literally with a couple of days before Christmas, so uh, I'm going to have it done now. And spray this with hammerite. Hammerite would be better in a gold spray, or you can do whatever colour you want. Um, I'm just going to use some regular gold spray paint, and you'll see that in a minute. If you're using regular gold spray paint, I would suggest getting some of these and using these because I don't know what it's going to be like with the heat. Hammerite should be fine with the heat because it's specifically done for that. So uh, yeah, that's, there you go, that's your uh, wishing machine for less than a tenner. Okay, so we're gonna turn this into this. I mean, you can keep it uh, white if you like, but I've decided to go gold with it and I've kept the inside white because obviously that's gonna reflect the light a lot better. Uh, this is gonna be the top of our wishing machine that we're gonna spin around. This one was the one that I did first and missed where I needed to put the, the right little dent so I, I had a little practice. What you want to do is get yourself, well I've used a cardboard box, I've made it into a little spraying den, um, get yourself a couple of loo roll holders and you want to make this little stand here. So all I've done there is I've got two toilet roll tubes, I've pushed one inside the other Boop. and made it into a little stand for me which is going to basically, that's going to support my um, little thing. Now I want it to be at least so I can lift the bottom off, but I don't want it too high that it's going to fall over when I spray it, okay? So there we go, that's going to go just on top of there, just like that. I hope that's pretty stable-ish. Now your can of spray paint, I'm just using a cheap one because I couldn't find any hammerite, so uh, shake it this way, don't shake it that way, shake it round like a little circle for about two minutes, okay? Now I'm going to spray it, and obviously with spray painting, uh, less and more coats is better, okay? So we do less and more coats, so let's give it a little spray. And the reason I put it in here is so that I can then turn it without actually touching the uh, thing itself. So I want to be able to turn it around once I spray it one time. So a little spray. Uh -huh. Okay, you see it, it's wobbling a little bit. I want to be careful because I don't want to knock it over. I, I 
don't want to knock it over. I don't also don't want to touch it. Now, you should be doing this in a well-ventilated room. Make sure that you've got some ventilation there. I'm going to do the top, but be careful on the top because you don't want it to pull and to be like a horrible finish. You want just a little spray to, to coat the, the white, but you don't want to make it blobby. Now, now that it's up, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to turn this around white side but I don't want to knock it over. If I knock it over I'll get thumbprints and fingerprints and all sorts I don't want. Okay. There we go. Other side. Like I say, a lot of light coats is better than one big thick coat. So hopefully I'm now going to leave that to dry. It'll take about 20 minutes, half an hour to dry. I'm going to give it another coat right after that. So there you go and then we should be about finished with our wishing machine. Happy days. So that is us all completed. Uh, there's our little tea light that's going to go into there. We light that up. Uh, this goes on the top. You can leave the little stay in place if you like, uh, but I would take mine off just for this bit. That goes on there like that. That's our little spinner. Here's our completed sprayed up little pots. The inside I've left white to reflect the light down inside there. That goes on the top. Look right in the right place. There we go. And there we are. We have our wishing machine. Days. I'll try and get a little video in the dark as well, but it's daylight now, so I can't do that for you. So, when she's opened it on Christmas Day, I'll then film it later on, and you can see what it looks like in the dark. I'm also going to throw into her little package, like I say, when I package up for uh, Helena, I'm going to put in her little tea lights as well, so she can uh, put those in there. These are the electronic ones, so I'm not going to risk uh, damaging the, uh, the pot. I hope you like it.